Vodafone has suffered a blow in its bid to break into one of Africa's most important telecoms markets. Opposition members of Ghana's parliament have blocked the government's attempt to approve Vodafone's controversial purchase of a 70% stake in the state-owned Ghana Telecom. The deal has been heavily criticized by Ghana's main opposition party, the National Democratic Congress, which believes that Vodafone's acquisition goes against the national interest. Vodafone, which is striving to offset slowing growth in its European heartland by pushing into rapidly expanding Asian and African markets, says it's confident that the acquisition of Ghana Telecom would be approved after the summer recess in October. They've I really attacked quite an interesting strategy out over the past number of years, divesting themselves of more mature markets in Japan, in Belgium, etc., and really going for a growth story in India, Turkey, and more recently in Africa, which looks as if it's poised for a little bit of trouble. But geographic expansion in high growth, high margin areas around the globe seems to be the focus of Vodafone and has delivered considerable results. The slowing UK economy is certainly not helping Vodafone's European figures. The company has 18.5 million customers in the UK, which make up around 8% of its global number. But the average monthly revenue for each person is falling dramatically. 3G and wireless broadband are two areas that Vodafone is keen to push for the future. And even though the group had 27 million 3G devices in operation at the end of March, their uptake rate slowed during the year, putting even more pressure on Vodafone to find new markets for growth. Julia Caesar, BBC News.